Hi friends, welcome to Tabletop Tonight. I'm Ruel Gaviola and I'm very excited to be playing Aqua Biodiversity in the Oceans. Uh, this video has been sponsored by the app. I want to thank them. And um, I'm going to be playing a solo game today. So come on over and join me right here on the tabletop. Hey, there it is. Uh, there's the rule book. I'm going to put that away. And we're going to start the game uh, in Aqua uh, Biodiversity in the uh, Oceans. What you're trying to do is start with your hotspot here and build coral around that. Eventually uh, create habitats and reefs and attract small animals and large animals. So uh, on your turn, it's very simple. In the solo game, uh, things are very similar to the multiplayer game where you have a market of uh, coral here. You're going to choose one and place it on any matching side. So I'm going to take these here. Uh, let's take a look. What do I have? I have this one, for instance. Um, I can do this where uh, these colors match. And then we're going to continue and hopefully uh, build little hexagons because the hexagons, those are the ones that are going to bring the animals to uh, the um, tableau here, your reef and your habitat. So there's different ways to score. You have the small animals and the large animals. So on your turn, I've just taken the first turn of the game, folks. Uh, that's it. You're going to discard these two. And again, there's are, there are some differences in the multiplayer game, and I'll talk about those as we go along. So I've just taken the first turn. I'm going to draw three more. Uh, these have been randomly um, shuffled around. And those are the next three right here. And let's see. You'll notice here, I can make a hexagon. I've just made a hexagon right there, folks, and I'm going to do that because here's what happens. When you make a hexagon, it's got to be, you know, these three sides matching uh, colors of the coral. Um, you take the matching animal, small animal, uh, in this case, the long-snouted seahorse, and place it right on top. Boom. So that I'm going to get those points uh, at the end of the game. And there's also uh, different points that you're going to score based on these uh, native animals. So a native, an animal is native to uh, the different scoring conditions here. Uh, for example, this one here, uh, the um, uh, the humpback whale in the in this case here, or um, the native animal is the green uh, turtle. Okay, so. These are random, uh, randomly placed at the start of the game, and there's a bunch of them uh, in the box that you can uh, place out here. So, as we go on, I'll continue talking about the scoring. First, I'm going to refill the coral market here. Okay, I got a bunch of those out. And let me see. So, uh, this was my habitat that I formed. I placed the small animal there. Um, can I start another one here? Oops, I forgot to turn that one over. Duh. Um, let's see. I could do this, perhaps. Okay, that's nice. I like this because these line up here, right? Um, now notice here, if I would have placed this here, even though there's three, uh, the, it does not form a habitat because it has to be in that perfect hexagon shape like that. Okay, so I am going to take this because this sets me up hopefully rather nicely uh, where I can complete, um, whoops, right here, where I can complete one of the, uh, either of those hexagons. All right, so we discard those, and then we draw three more. Now, you may be asking, hey, Ruel, how do we get these large animals out? I'm glad you asked, Ruel, or whoever's asking out there. Um, what you do is when you have, um, for example, two small animals, and actually I, I can do it right now. Let me do this. I can do this blue one here or this red one. I'll, I'll do the red here. Well, let me see. Let's see the blue. Yeah, this here. So, I have created this crab. I've drawn uh, the, um, what is this called? The crown of, no, the um, tra trapezia crab uh, goes here because it's matching the color. Now, I can't, you were, you were asking about large animals, or I was in my head at least, or and I spoke it out loud. Uh, you can bring in a large animal when it matches the shape here of uh, two small animals. For instance, uh, this barracuda could go right on top. And that's where it has to go. It has to go on top. And there's a couple of conditions. First of all, uh, the animals have to be biodiverse. They have to be different. So these are a seahorse and a crab. That makes it, um, meets the condition. Second, the large animal has to be placed so it covers uh, all the uh, small animals supported. In this case, it does here. Okay. So, um, and you have to do it on that turn. So I just placed this crab. On this turn, I'm going to have to place this. But I'm going to wait. I am going to wait because I'm hoping that I can create one of the bigger shapes. Because obviously, uh, Barracuda is cool, but it's only worth five points. You, if I can get this whale shape. Oh, my goodness. Look at this whale. 
uh, that would be worth 15. And there's other shapes as well. There's a hammerhead shark, a reef octopus, and also a, um, is it a dolphin? Yeah, bottlenose dolphin. Okay, so I've done that turn. I go here. The game, uh, whether it's solo or multiplayer, it's 17 turns, folks. It's a pretty, pretty quick game here. So, oops, let me shuffle this back in. I don't know if you can see that one. Uh, so let's go here. Um, so I do have that blue to connect there. Okay, and I will be able to connect a blue there. That is going to give me that octopus looking one, which I think I want to do. So here's here's what I'm going to do. I have uh, several choices here. I Oh, I like this one because then I can do another a yellow there. So I'm going to put the blue here. Okay, and I'm going to attract uh, the box jellyfish, which is going to go right there. Bum, ba -da -bum. I discard these. Now, on my turn, I've just placed the box jellyfish. I want to bring in the Reef Octopus. And the Reef Octopus I can bring in because, number one, it's on my turn. I've just placed that, a small animal. Number two, um, the animals are diverse. They're all different. And number three, it fits perfectly right there. Boom, yes, got an octopus out there. Very cool. Now, I'm going to draw the market in here. I'm not talking about reefs yet, so let me talk about reefs. So we're talking about little habitats there. If there are uh, ones that are not, or here's a perfect example. Uh, let's put these out here like this. Okay. And as you place them, you've, you've seen I've been uh, placing them side by side. There's no corner to corner placement. It always has to, and it always has to match. So I could not do this. All right. So here I've got one, two, three, four, five. That is considered a reef. And the way reefs score at the end of the game, any at small animals that are adjacent to this reef is going to score points. Obviously, I don't have any right now, but that's going to come into play as we continue here. Now, um, and that actually might come into play right now because I, I have nothing to do. I have a yellow here I've got set up. Uh, do I set up another blue one here, perhaps? Right? I think I want to do that because I know the box jellyfish, they are native to the uh, octopus here. And the more you get, the more points you're going to score at the end of the game as well. Okay, and then, and you can check here. Oh, and I have the seahorse. That seahorse uh, scores points for um, small animals that are adjacent. So yeah, I'm going to put the blue there. Hopefully set myself up. Discard those. I'll bring in three more for the um, thing here. Uh, the market. Ooh, okay. Um, now I do have this yellow one here. I could bring in the clownfish, right? Uh, Nemo, as some people may call him. Um, or I can do the blue here and that, oh yeah, I like this blue because there's a bunch of uh, green ones here. Uh, do I do, okay, it has to form a perfect hexagon. So, you know, yeah, I'll do that there so I can bring in the jellyfish. Boom, there's a jellyfish. All right, and then these go away. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit, make sure my reef is all nice and neat here. Uh, draw three more from the uh, tiles here for the market. And, okay, what do we have here? We've got, let's see, some red, some green, okay. Now here, uh, this is an example I was just talking about. I can put this here, and that does not form a hexagon, but it is now a reef. A reef has to be four or more. One, two, three, four that are adjacent, and I would score um, next, because it's right next to that um, uh, jellyfish. And we do that all at the end of the game, of course. Um, I could make it like this, perhaps. Maybe right there. I do like connecting it. Now let's see what are my other options are. I have uh, some blues here, uh, reds. Okay. Um, huh. Do I want to do this over here? Got to think about one of the other animals I want to do uh, to attract. <coughs> I can do this. And then I could put another green one here to make a hexagon. Or do I just make this here? And then we do have this here, the purplish one. That would bring in this guy. The uh, jellyfish, perhaps. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. I'm going to do that. Okay, well, we'll see what happens here, friends. So if I bring in that, and then I get something over here. Okay, okay. Now, unless I do this here. And I set myself for uh, two that are similar here. That's a nice thing as well. Uh, let me see if I do this. Yeah, you know what? We'll go like this. I don't want to overthink it. Okay, let's continue. Draw those. Or discard those. Draw these. Okay, there's my yellows. 
Okay, which is nice. Or I can do this one. This one's cool. Or this one here. Now, if I did this, look, it's now a reef, not a habitat, because that's four if it's not a perfect um, hexagon. So I'm going to do this here for a hexagon. And bring in the clownfish. Bring in the clownfish. Do, 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 do. Actually, you know which one I want to do? I want to do this one here. Bring in the clownfish. We just did it again. All right, cool. Now, I've got two small animals, but they're not doing anything. They're not connected to make a large uh, animal yet. So let's bring in some two tiles. Bring in the tiles. Um, Okay, what do we got? Okay, we can do this. That would be cool. Or this would be cool. Let's see, what can we make? Can we make? Could make this get some reefs out there but i like this here i it will get me a smaller one um uh, let me see does this make anything that does not make a shape but i can make a hexagon perhaps there oh man do we have oh man the perfect one would be there okay well um let's you know what i'm gonna uh, let's just take my points i guess place this here so that's going to be that'll only be a two uh so i can bring in a barracuda is there a way i can extend this though i can put this here and then hopefully get another one that'll make a hexagon here I'll make a hexagon here right here too much thinking too much thinking none of doing let's do that there boom boom bring in the green turtle do, 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 do. Okay, so that's there. I've discarded those. I am going to take that Barracuda. Yeah, let's take the Cuda. Cuda, Cuda, you're right there. Okay, so as you can see, I'm running out of tiles already. This is a pretty quick game. 17 turns, that's it, folks. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Um, I do want to connect these eventually. Because if I can get a reef, then I'm going to be close to... Um, you know, I want a reef next to a bunch of this stuff. Well, let, let's make a reef here, okay? Like so. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reef goes there. Or I can take this reef and hopefully get another one of these animals. Can I make this one here? Maybe we do this. And hopefully try to make a hexagon of that shape there man okay I'm running out of turns oh my gosh it's such a cool game okay uh here's yellow blue okay okay well i do like this one because i can make a hexagon right there one two three or i mean do i do that blue one again no we'll just make a hexagon right there bring in another seahorse there's your seahorse Okay, uh, these get discarded. I only got a couple of turns left. Um, where are my reefs? I need my reefs. Okay. Um, we'll do one here. Ah, you know what? Oh, man. I can probably... Okay, if I do this, this is a reef connected next to that. You try to get the reefs, you really want to connect to more than just one... Uh, more than just one animal right this is a spot because it's one there'll be at least two animals and you can look under here where they're gonna go oh man okay let's do this if i'm gonna mess this up <laughs> we'll go here okay yeah we'll do that all right one two three oh i do like this blue one that's gonna set me up i hope so I want another blue one out there because that's uh, the um, jellyfish is native uh, to the reef octopus. And uh, that's important because you're going to get more points. And I'll show the, you'll see the scoring at the end. Okay, so I'll do, I'm going to do this and hopefully get another blue one here. One, two, three. Yep, there it is. Whoop, there it is. And then I can bring that one there. Okay, can I get another large animal? i got two turns left, folks two turns one two three oh man oh man um 
All right, well, it's time to make a reef. So there's a reef, one, two, three, four, and that's gonna be next to two animals at least. Okay, I've got one more turn. What can what can I do? What can I do? There's the turn, or that, there's the final market. Okay. Um. So that reef there, I'm gonna make a reef over here, I guess. Yeah. Or I could bring in this. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna bring in this one here because I'm gonna bring in another. Um. What is this called? A crown of thorn starfish. Whoop. The starfish is there, and that's native to the barracuda. I, I was actually thinking that one was I got I was mistaken. Okay, so let me move this up here. You can see all the coral that I've put together. This is my habitat, my reef, and um, we're gonna score the animals. Uh, give me just a second because I gotta go get a score pad. And hey, look at that! I've got the score pad right here. We're gonna do the final scoring, friends. Again, thank you for all uh, watching my solo run through. Um, so the first thing you do, uh, I've written my name, of course, and you're going to score your large animals. So I've got two of them. I've got the reef octopus and the barracuda. So I take those and just put them to the side. Excuse me. There are 15 points. Now I'm going to score my small animals. They're gonna, they're all here. I've got a bunch of them. So 3, 6, 8, 10, 13, 16, 18, 21, and 24. So 24. And just to double check the math, there's 9, 11, 14, 16, 18, plus 6 is 24. All right. Now you can score your reefs. And again, I didn't do many reefs in this uh, particular game. And in fact, I only did one, I think. Oh my gosh. Here's one, two, three, four. Uh, these are not connected. Those are not connected. Those are not. Oh, wow. So only one reef. And the way you score that, any animals that are adjacent, you're going to score those points. So that's two and three, four, five points. Okay, now we're going to look at all uh, the animals in the ecosystems. The, again, these were randomly set up at the start of the game, and there are different ones for every game. You have a, a local one uh, in this particular game, and then these are all global ones. And I'll show you a little close up here, um, the local one uh, here. So I'm going to get one point, depending on what is the native animal. In this particular game, uh, again, this is all done randomly at setup. The uh, long-snouted seahorse is... Uh, the native one here, native animal of this um, ecosystem. So the what this says is any small animals adjacent to this seahorse is worth one point. So including itself. So I've got this seahorse here, one, two, three. Then I've got this seahorse here, four. So I scored four for that one. Okay, moving right along, we've got the barracuda. I do have a barracuda in this game, folks. And I already scored my five points here for the large animal. Now this says any animals, this is global, okay, so let me show you the global thing here. Uh, the global one, this uh, symbol here, which you, yeah, that global one says that these score anywhere on the, um, on the board. So I've got one here, and that's it. And I'm going to get two points for that. So that's two points for um, the, uh, uh, the animal that is native to the barracuda. Okay, now... I had this reef octopus. I already scored the 10 points there. The reef octopus, uh, the native one, again, in this game, is the box jellyfish. And, hey, I've got one, two, three jellyfishes, and those are worth three points each for nine points. All right. Um, I did not get any uh, hammerhead sharks this game. I did not get any of the, what is this called, the bottlenose uh, 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 dolphins. Is that it? Yeah, bottlenose dolphins. And I did not get any of the humpback whales, just these two this game. So I got zeros on those. One, two, three. And then you just total up your score. Uh, so I've got, let's see, 39 plus another 9 is 48, 50, 59 points. And let's just uh, go backwards here. 11, 15, 20, 44, uh, 59. So I've scored 59. In the solo game, you go over to the dreaded score sheet. I'm not sure how I did. I Let's see. Oh. I needed 60 or more for a great start. So I'm just under a great start. I think it's a good start, but not a great start. And as you see here, um, the solo game, you have different scenarios and challenges, modifications and whatnot, scenarios. And, oh, I always love this. Uh, um, the Not only they have the animals here, but folks, I want to see this in all uh, rule books. The very last page is all the things you need to know, all the matching colors. It's a handy dandy player aid. So I love that. And um, I want to thank the op for sponsoring this. Thank you for watching this uh, solo run through of Aqua Biodiversity in the Oceans. 
Uh, if you want to see more of my videos, I mean, you're here, right here on my YouTube channel. Just click on the links below for more. And until next time, I'll see you back here on the tabletop. All right, take care. Bye-bye.